Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 5, 3. If someone were to ask you how you're doing in your walk with the Lord, how would you respond? Oftentimes when people ask me that, I try to look at my own life and I think, well, I had my quiet time this morning. I went to church this week. I haven't done too many sins. I've been confessing them, things like that. And I try to figure out, I guess, a, a rating scale of how I'm doing with the Lord. And I think the more I try to measure my religious practices, the further I probably actually am from the Lord. The more I realize my need for Him, the more I realize my spiritual bankruptcy without Him, the more I'm probably walking close to the Lord or closer to the kingdom of heaven. So when we say, blessed are the poor in spirit, uh, and I think I'm doing really well in my walk with the Lord, I'm probably not poor in spirit at that moment. I'm probably prideful in spirit when I say I'm doing really well in my walk with the Lord. Now, on the other hand, you could have a false humility or the self-deprecation. You're like, oh, I'm doing terrible with the Lord. And if that's not genuinely what you believe, you just want to say that so people think you're humble or you say it for some other reason, then you're probably still far from the kingdom. But when we genuinely believe that we can do nothing apart from God, like it says in John 15, 5, that's probably actually when we're poor in spirit. And when we're poor in spirit, we inherit the kingdom of heaven. So my encouragement to you today is to genuinely realize your need for God. The way you genuinely realize your need for God is to spend time with the Holy One and you'll realize how much more you need Him.